Hey guys, what is up? It is Pizza Prestige and welcome back to the channel. It's been three years or about three years since I've uploaded the last Park Miranda video and we are not going to continue that series. That's some sad news, but it has to be said and we are going to continue some other things. So as you can see by the title of this video, this is a wooden roller coaster challenge and don't worry, I'm not gonna like just pretend nothing happened in the meantime. I've been away for three years and I'm gonna tell you why, but I'm not gonna tell you the full story. If you want, I can give you like a full update video on like what I've been up to and why I have returned exactly. But I'm just gonna like do a really quick synopsis right now, um, like in this video, after I talk about what this video is actually about, which is the wooden roller coaster. So. Yeah, if you want to, if you want one of those update videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will try to make one. And yeah, there we go. So anyways, um, <laughs> some of you might know I've been live streaming a few times on YouTube now and those times were a lot of fun. Now, I'm not going to do that regularly, uh, which is sort of sad, but the reason being that I can't really work on a schedule with videos and especially with live streams since they take a long a lot of time and sort of in my life I have to sort of find time to play the game and to record it and because these videos are played back at 800 times or even 1000 times uh, well 800 percent or 1000 percent the speed I actually <laughs> just imagine that a video but a thousand times faster you wouldn't actually see anything Anyways, but 1000% or 800% speed, um, it just takes a lot of time to build these things, especially if you do it like this. The, the method I'm using right here to make this coaster sort of smooth is the uh, short track piece method, where you use sh short track pieces and you put them roughly in the shape that you want them, and then you take a selection of four tracks, four track pieces like you can see here, and you just take that across, you slide it across the track one piece at a time, and you hit smooth all. Now you gotta tweak your turns here and there because the banking sort of the, the the banking offset will disappear a bit. So you have to manually put that back in. But it is a great way to make a smooth coaster. So the coaster in question right here, right? The idea for this coaster came from Dr. Pei on on Discord. And uh, basically he came up with a challenge. So the challenge was to build a wooden roller coaster that was compact, had a lot of overpasses was had a, minute, a maximum height of, I think it was 32 meters or 30 meters. And we are right on that. It also needed a minimum track length of 700 meters. So it was quite a challenge. And when I, when I read it, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this. So I played it, I played the game, I started up the game. I basically just streamed it on Discord. So he could watch with me as well. And so could other players if they wanted to. Which is a great thing, by the way. So if you want to hang out while I'm recording these videos and maybe talk uh, talk to me or with me or with the other guys that are there, um, yeah, go ahead and join. The link's in the description if you want to join the Discord. So yeah, go ahead and click that link and we'll see you there. Anyways, so this coaster is sort of like an out and back layout. And I wanted to, like, without a doubt, go beyond the 1000 meters track length. And the only way I could figure out how to do that is to do like an out and back layout like you see here. So it's it's quite a long footprint for a compact wooden coaster, but it's got a lot of overpasses and underpasses and whatchamacallit. So I think it's sort of justified. I'm not sure. Go ahead and let, let me know what you think. And if you actually want to try this yourself, go ahead and upload it and send me a message about it and I will check it out. Might even do like a little video review and just ride some of the rides that you guys create, if, if it's possible at all. But this is a really fun challenge, and it's really cool to try to make a smooth coaster that is actually um, satisfying constraints that are given by this challenge. So here you can see me smoothing out more track. I love this part right here. It's sort of like a triple curve. You go right, left, and right underneath the lift hill. And it just gives this sort of weird swooping effect of the coaster. Now right here I wanted to add something crazy. And that something crazy was an outward banked turn. And I wanted to add some variation in the height here, just to keep it a little bit interesting instead of just making it a really weird ejector turn. But in the end, I had to revert to banking it to the inside after the first part of the turn. So the first part stayed outwardly banked, as you'll see later in the time lapse. 
but I had to bank the rest back because of the g-forces it just wasn't really tolerable at all so right here trying to fit in a final helix tried to go from low to, to high uh, didn't really work out so I had to go high to low so I made a little bit of a hump right here uh, with which I could swoop under with a small helix which actually turned out great and I'm going to use this as a nice sort of eye catcher for people walking by they can walk around that little that little helix right there so right here just building the um, the brake section out of the station because that's much easier actually if you ever done it the other way around you probably know it's kind of hard to get the last final transition piece between the brake run and the station to be exactly uh, smooth and also it's going to be pretty hard to actually get a nice uh, slant on your like a, a nice uh, fall ratio on the brake run right there so right now um, the layout is pretty much finished there's going to be some more tweaking here and there as you can see here we're banking back this turn but what i want to talk about right now is just a little bit of uh, some information about the last couple of years. So I've started producing and playing music uh, for people, DJing and producing melodic techno. As you can hear in the background right now, uh, these are two of the tracks that me and my partner, Miller, I'm Morax, he's Miller, uh, Morax and Miller, that's, what, that's our name. You can find us on Spotify or SoundCloud or whatever, links in the description. But yeah, uh, these are our two unreleased new tracks and well basically the second one that you're uh, about to hear uh, as well in the POV is unfinished as well it's just a little bit of a promo I guess to, to what's coming but that's been taking up a lot of my free time and to be honest um, my time management isn't the very very best so <laughs> I was spending a lot of time on music I was spending lesser time on friends i was spending even less time on games and i was spending more time on work as well so you know I, i'm working full time um, i'm doing the music thing and some somehow i just couldn't get back into gaming like when i was trying to play planet coaster i couldn't play it anymore for fun i was playing it to make some content and with that there's sort of like a rush in it that's just not relaxed at all so that's basically a really short synopsis of what's happened to me. That's why I sort of quit YouTube. Uh, and I'm sorry for not saying goodbye at all. It's, it's kind of a dickish move. But I do still reply to all your comments. I love reading your comments. You know, I get notifications on my phone every now and then from a new comment on like an old video or one of the, one of the newer ones saying like, ah, come back. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it. So here we are. I'm back. And I'm making these ugly ass stations again, which is, well, sort of my thing. <laughs> so these um these little paths right here there will be like i think a wall between that and the uh the, the track right there for the coaster just making it look like a little bit of a retaining wall that looks nice uh, but it's just going to be sort of like a decor and also like a little bit of an eye catcher when you walk out of the station that you can still see the next train depart now what you'll see here is just me adding some some simple path work around the coaster right here around the helix and in the middle here I'm going to place a little bit of a plaza which sort of failed I tried to make the angles there uh, the corners curved but it just became lopsided every time I tried it uh, if you have any more tips on that go ahead and let me know <laughs> might be able to uh, fix it one day but anyways yeah so uh, after this you're going to be able to see the POV of this coaster and yeah let me know in the comments guys what you think of this coaster did I do justice to this little challenge? Is it compact enough? And how does it look and feel? So this is, I think this is actually my first wooden coaster I made on this channel. Uh, well, certainly in three years, but in a long time as well. Uh, I think maybe ever? Have I made a roller coaster before? I don't think I have. Not like this, I haven't. So yeah, um, let me know what you think about me returning in the comments. And yeah, I'll, I'll just, see them coming and yeah i hope to see you guys in the next video as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the pov for this coaster and yeah enjoy the ride and as always peace from pieces of prestige Thank you. 